So you've started using the new SmartThings app and you set up your SmartThings home monitor, but how do you control it outside of SmartThings? How can you control it with your Alexa devices? How can you use it with Sharp Tools or any other third-party integration? I'm gonna show you how to get that set up next. So the first thing we need to do is create virtual devices for each one of our security statuses. We need to create one for disarm, arm stay, and arm away. Now if you never use one of these, like maybe you only arm your system when you're away, and you never use arm stay, you can just not make one for arm stay. Um, so just keep that in mind as you go through this video. So the easiest way to create a virtual device is really to go over to the classic app, go to your automations, go to your smart app tab, go all the way to the bottom, click add a smart app, go all the way to the bottom, click on more, go all the way to the bottom again, and here you have a virtual device creator. So you can see right down here at the bottom, the virtual device creator here. Um, and if I go over to my SmartThings new app and go into my Smart App section, then it's going to show up here and I can easily make virtual devices right in the new app. Now, this is not available in the new app unless you have already added it to your classic app. So if you haven't migrated from the classic app to the new app, which I do not recommend doing at this point, it's far too early to be migrating things. You want to wait until they work out all of these bugs. Um, go over to your classic app, or if you haven't even ever gone into the classic app, just log in using your Samsung credentials and turn on that virtual device creator so you have it to use in the new app. I'm sure in the future they're gonna add this um, into the new app, but right now if you go into the add a smart app section, all of the smart apps that are available pretty much from here up, they are not including that virtual device creator. So that is why you need to add it in the SmartThings Classic app, and then you'll have use of it over here in the new app. Now, if you do not have the SmartThings Classic app or you don't want to use it, I'm gonna show you how to do it in your SmartThings IDE. Come into account.smartthings.com slash login and sign in with your Samsung account. Now, once signed in, you're gonna to want to go to My Locations, Choose your home location and go to my devices. Now we need to create a device for our three alarm states. So we're going to create one for arm, stay, arm away, and disarm. So what we need to do is just go up to the top right here where it says new device and click the plus there. And then we're just going to type in a name. So I'm just going to do disarm first. And we'll do disarm as the label, network ID, disarm. And then this is the most important part here where it says type. You want to type in a VI to get down to where it says virtual switch. Choose that virtual switch. Choose your location and your hub location. And then click create. Now we have our virtual switch for our disarm. And we just need to do the exact same thing for our arm away and arm stay. Now if you go back to your My Device tab here, you can see that we have our arm away here, our arm stay, which are virtual switches. And if we go down a little bit further, we're gonna find our disarm. So we have our three alarm states, and now we just need to go over to the new app and create six automations to make all of this work. All right, so we are over on our new SmartThings app, and let's try and find those virtual devices that we just created. So they're probably gonna be 
in the no room assigned area at the very bottom. So we have arm stay, arm away, and disarm. So let's go ahead and put these into a room. So let's just go ahead and go to the three little dots in the upper right hand corner, click on the edit, and choose our room SHM or smart home monitor and click save. And I did put a period on that so it shows up at the top of the list. And now we'll just go ahead and do arm away and disarm the same way. All right, now you can see that they do no longer show in no room assigned. So if we go all the way to the top, you can see that we have in the dot SHM room, it says disarm, arm away, and arm stay. Now we have our three modes that are shown right in our smart things home monitor right here. But what we need to do is we need to link these virtual switches to the actual home monitor states. And how we're gonna do that is if you go to the three little lines at the upper left corner and click on automations. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add an automation and we're gonna say if this, then this. We're gonna add a condition. So the first ones we're gonna do is device status. So tap on device status. And we're gonna say to start at the top, we're going to say arm away. So arm away turns on. Then we are going to change the security mode to arm away. And we're going to click next and just click on done. And it's going to prompt you for a name. Let's just keep it the same to keep it simple. You can name it whatever you'd like and click OK. All right, so we have our first one. Now, once you have an automation, um, you just need to hit the plus sign at the top, and we're going to add another automation. All right, so now we have these three automations, and now we need to th add three more automations so that everything stays in sync. So we're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to click add condition. And we just need to, this time we're going to choose security mode. So last time we chose device status and we chose the security mode as a second step. And now we're going to do the opposite and choose the security mode mode first and then choose the device statuses. So tap on security mode at the bottom and we'll just say arm away we'll just use it we'll just do it right in order arm away and we're going to add an action and we're going to control devices and we're going to use all three of our alarm devices so arm away arm stay and disarm and click next when the smart things home monitor is arm away we want everything to be off except for arm away. We want arm away to be on. So we just need to tap arm away to be on and click done. If we turn the smart things home monitor arm away to be on, it'll turn off our virtual switches for arm stay and disarm. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done there and hit okay on the name. All right, so now you can see we have arm away completed. Now we just need to do the same thing for arm stay and disarm. All right, so now we have created six automations and now we can test this out. If we go back to our home screen here, you can see my smart things home monitor here is currently disarmed. Let's change this to the arm stay. 
So now you can see that when I change this to arm stay, our virtual device above it changed to arm stay on. And if we tap arm away, it turned off the arm stay and turned on the arm away, which is exactly what we want. Now, if we disarm it, now when we disarm it, you can see the disarm virtual switch is on and the arm away switch turned off. So that is working well. So now that we've tested our SmartThings home monitor at the bottom, going through those three statuses, what we're wanting to do is really control our SmartThings home monitor using the virtual devices that we created rather than using the SmartThings home monitor at the bottom. So what we want to do is test our virtual switches to be sure that when we switch those on or off, that they actually do change the SmartThings home monitor properly. And it looks like it's doing some refreshing in the background, which is why we haven't actually switched to the new app yet, because certain things just are not working like they should. Now, when you want to turn a device on or off, you don't tap on the big part of the device. You tap on the upper right hand corner where it's got that power button. So you're going to tap the arm away and you can see that instantly our arm away on our smart things home monitor changed to arm away at the bottom. Now the same thing is if we wanted to change this to arm stay on our virtual device, we would tap on the arm stay power button in the upper right hand corner of that device. And you can see that our arm stay has now changed to arm stay in the bottom. And let's test the last one, which is the disarm. Tap on the power button, and you can see that it is now disarmed. So now we, what we've set up is these virtual devices here. So we can now control these virtual devices with anything outside of SmartThings that connects to SmartThings. So now you can set up things in your Sharp Tools. You can also set up things with your Amazon Alexa devices, and you can now control this with your voice. So let's give that a shot real quick. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. I found three new devices. Try saying, turn off this on. All right, so she found those three devices. And now we should be able to control these devices with our voice. So let's try it out. Alexa, turn on arm stay. And there you can see it turned our virtual device to arm stay and it changed our smart things home monitor to arm stay as well. Alexa, arm away on. And there now you can see that the arm away on and arm away on our smart things home monitor is now on and alexa disarm on and there you go our disarm virtual switch has been turned on which has disarmed the smart things home monitor so now you can see that you can control your smart things home monitor using these virtual devices that we created and now you can do all kinds of different automations with them you can use them in rules in sharp tools and any other third party integrations that you would like hopefully smart things will open up the smart things home monitor to third parties like they did with the classic smart home monitor um, that way we won't have any of these crazy issues um, that we have now where we can't control it outside of smart things so i hope you found that video helpful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.